To Shmuel Landau, Marwan Barghouti represents many things, but not peace. Every day for the past eight years, Landau has come to mourn his 17-year-old son, Ronen, shot at this exact place while the two were riding in a car. He blames Barghouti for the killing. The terrorists, the soldiers of Barghouti, the killers, they opened heavy fire on us. Ronin, who was sitting next to me, got the bullet from the back. It went through his liver, and he died on the spot. Israel arrested Marwan Barghouti in 2002. He was sentenced to five life terms for murder. Even from prison, Marwan Barghouti looms large. Kassam Barghouti is Marwan's son. My father is a hero in my eyes. He's a hero in his people's eyes. Uh, he's a very great person and a very great leader. He, is, uh, 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 he has given uh, his whole life, he has given his own freedom to help the Palestinians to have their own freedom. In Barghouti's West Bank village, Kobar, many people echo those sentiments. This man has walked in the right direction, far from giving up the rights and the land. He was a fighter from the beginning, even though he spent so much of his life in jail. This approach paved the way for him to be a leader and to be loved by the Palestinian people. From this prison, Barghouti led his campaign for a seat on Fatah's Central Committee and a short-lived bid for the Palestinian presidency four years ago. Talk of his possible release in a prisoner exchange has touched off a bitter debate in Israel. He will do what he knows to do, killing innocent people. Some Israeli leftists see Barghouti as a moderate and the best hope for peace. But some question how someone who is serving five life sentences for murder can be called a moderate. Yehuda Ben Meir is with the Institute of National Security Studies in Tel Aviv. Uh, prior to the uh, outbreak of the terror activities in late 2000, which is also known as the Second Intifada, Mr. Barghouti was involved uh, in, in the peace process, which began with the Oslo Accords in 1993. Mr. Barghouti had personal relations with many Israeli politicians and many other Israelis. They met together, and indeed, uh, uh, in, in those uh, meetings that he had, in those contexts that he had, he uh, expressed himself as someone who uh, wants to reach a peaceful settlement and someone who was against terrorism. Barghouti also has the respect of militants, including Hamas, and Palestinians believe he could unite Palestinian factions and bring peace with Israel. Kassam Barghouti was also jailed and spent months with his father in the same prison cell. As for the violence blamed on Marwan Barghouti, he says it is a cost of the conflict. This is a suffering from both sides, wars, uh, always uh, have uh, people that suffer and of course there's a price for killing Palestinians. There's a price. Uh, we, we pay a price, they pay a price. Shmuel Landau is not convinced that releasing Marwan Barghouti will bring peace. I think of him just as I thought of Arafat. They told us at the time that Arafat was the only one who would bring peace. Landau says he has paid a heavy price for believing there can be peace with former militants. And he, for one, does not think Barghouti should get a second chance. Luis Ramirez, BOA News, Jerusalem.